hello everyone so today let's get started with the shell forms or the different shape of shells in cephalopods all right so in cephalopods different types of shells are found you know with different type of shapes different types of forms some are your helicoid some are your plane spiral some are your straight some are your slightly coiled and something like this so the first one is your orthoceracon okay orthocera cone okay no need to write anything here just try to understand what i'm trying to teach all right so in orthoceracon here the shell is straight so till now we have seen different type of shells different type of examples your gonitite your ammonite nodalite etc so they were you know they were coiled like this but when we talk about orthoceracon there are shells which are straight i told you right there are uh, your shells which are straight okay so they are not coiled so these are or you called your orthoceracons have a look this is an orthoconic shell okay have a look this is straight you aren't finding any coiling over here so this shaded uh, i mean dotted part is your body chamber here your animal resides and this gray part is your phragmo cone all right so this is straight the next one is your cetoceracon okay cetoceracon okay what is this cetoceracon in this the shell is slightly curved all right so at the first you had your shell very straight that was your orthoceracon and after that your shell bent slightly or your shell curved slightly so this is your cetoceracon now you can have a look this is a cetoconic uh, shell you can see there is slight coiling or you can see it's slightly curved all right so this is your cetoconic shell okay slightly curved the next one is your gyroceracon okay so in gyroceracon the shell is loosely coiled okay so there is coiling found over there but it's not tightly coiled it's just loosely coiled all right so your gyrocon is somewhat like this okay there is a loose coiling over here have a look this is your gyrocon in this there is this body chamber okay and then you can finding uh, find a coiling here near the phragmo cone okay so what is this it's, it's loosely coiled all right there's not a tightly packed coiling found okay so this is your gyrocone so at the first you had a straight shell then it was slightly bent and then it was coiled but it was loosely coiled all right then you have tarficeracons okay so in tarfi seracons they show complete coiling and the walls are in contact with each other so you can have a look here in uh, tarfi seracon you can see that there is complete coiling okay and the walls are touching each other so these are the walls walls what are walls so the coil shapes are called your walls all right so in this uh, your tarfi seracon all your walls are coiled and they are touching each other have a look this is a serpenti cone this is same as your tarfi seracon you can have a look that it is completely coiled and your walls are touching each other all right then you have uh, your trochoceracon what is this trochoceracon this is a shell it it exhibits a helicoid coiling okay so at the beginning i told you there are two types of coiling one is your plane spiral so when you talk about your plane spiral it's all in the same plane okay so if this is your plane the coiling is in the same plane but when you talk about a helicoid coiling the helicoid coiling is uh, like this okay so the helicoid coiling is like this so in uh, your trochoceracon there is a helicoid coiling found and you can have a look this torticon okay so you can see that the coiling is like this okay so here this is your trochoceracon fine then you have a lichuti cone okay lichuti cone all right what is this lichuti cone it is also known as your baculiti cone baculiti cone lichuti cone or baculiti cone what is happening here here 
the shell it is partly coiled okay it's partly straight and then it is partly coiled have a look this is your lituti cone here the shell is uh, partly straight and then at the end of the phragma cone it is partly coiled all right so this is your lituti cone then again you have another uh, shell form that is your involute shell form so what is happening here here the only the body world okay i mean here the body chamber or you can say the body world it covers all your other chambers or the body world covers your phragma cone okay so you can see that uh, here it is uh, named as notility cone it is involute uh, involute shell what is happening here here uh, this is the body chamber and these are your other walls now what is happening here this body chamber is hiding or covering all the other walls okay so this is your involute one another ones are your burvy cones what are these burvy cones they somewhat exhibit a cap like appearance okay so uh, they look like somewhat a cap this is your burvy cone so here in burvy cones what is happening they somewhat look like a cap have a look have a look they look somewhat like a cap and they are uh, named as orthoconic and certiconic why because orthoconic is straight so it is a straight cap like structure and this is certiconic so it is a slightly curved cap like structure so these are your burvy cones all right so with this we have done the shell forms all right now in this slide i have termed all the important shell forms with the definitions and the examples so your orthoceracon the shell is straight example is your orthoceras certoceracon the shell is slightly curved example is certoceras gyroceracon the shell is loosely coiled example is your gyroceras terpeneceracon it shows complete coiling and the whorls are in contact with each other example is terpeneceras Trochoceracon shell exhibits helicoid coiling. An example is your trochoceras, the lutiticon and bosliticon. They exhibit partially coiled nature. And examples are your lutilites and bakulites. So you have your burvy cones. They exhibit a cap-like appearance. And the examples are your burvy cirrus. So with this, we have done the shell forms. So guys, the PDF of this lecture is provided in the link which is given in the description below. So with that link you can download the pdf of this lecture in notes form so guys in the next lecture we'll have a look at another topic in detail and with this we have done our shell forms of cephalopods whatever the doubts are there you're free to ask in the comment section thank you so much mm -hmm.